So in this video, I'm going to make a very simple store, one object, uh, one buy button, and I'm not going to get bogged down in details. Then I'll add another video to enhance the store if you want. So I'm going to start in this. I'm going to use this link right here. I'm going to put it in the description. If you click on it, you'll come to this page and come to these three dots, then hit edit and it'll open up in Roblox Studio. The reason I'm using that is because I already made some coins with a leaderboard on it, and now you don't have to worry about adding a leaderboard or getting money and stuff. So you can gather money with these coins and it'll add to a leaderboard. All right, so let's go to our toolbox and get an item to sell. So if you're gonna buy an item, and there's only one item, you may as well make it a rocket launcher. All right, so I got my rocket launcher here. It's a Roblox rocket launcher, so I know it works. I'm gonna go and put it in replicated storage. And now let's start making our store so we could buy our rocket launcher. Let's go to starter GUI, screen GUI, text button. And this is gonna be my open, open shop button. All right, so I will, I'm gonna center that on in the screen. I'm gonna make the anchor point at zero and 0.5. I'm gonna center it on the left. Uh, I'll make the color green. I shall put the position at the very first number. Oh no, I want to make it on the Y, 0.5 on the Y. There you go. All right, size. I don't want this to be in pixels in case we use a smaller screen. So I opened my size up. Uh, my X, I'm going to make that 0.1 and 0, so 0 pixels. And the Y, I'm going to make 0 0.08 and 0. So the first number is scale relative to the parent object, which is the screen GUI. So we don't rely on pixels in case we get a really small screen. All right, go down to font. I'll make that cartoon. Text, I'll make the shop. And scale, text scaled. I'll hit that. All right, so we got a little open and close button. Let's go ahead and add a frame. So I'll make the frame, I'll call the shop frame. All right, and likewise, I have to change my anchor point. I'm gonna center the frame, so I'm gonna say 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 for the anchor point. And let's make the color a little bit different. Let's make it, I don't know, like pink or something. And we'll go to position. Position, I'm not gonna use any pixels. I'm gonna use scale, so I'm gonna say, 0.5 and 0, 0.5 and 0, it puts it right in the middle. Size, this is also in pixels, I don't like that. I'm going to make the size uh, 0 0.2 and 0, and 0 0.4 and 0. Bigger than we need since we only have one item, but that's fine. We're going to expand. All right, now in the frame, let's go ahead and add a text button. The text button is going to be our rocket launcher. So I'll just say rocket button, right? And the rocket button, let's go ahead and change the stats on that. Anchor point, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Background color, I'll leave that white because I'm going to change it when I click on it. Um, position, let's go ahead and put it in the center. 0.5 and 0, 0.5 and 0. So once you change it on the scale, now when you move it, it's going to move on the scale. So that's kind of handy. All right, and sizes and pixels, we can't have that. I'm going to just change the offsets on those. So I'll make this 0.8 and 0 because it's relative to the frame now. So I could make it bigger, 0.2 and 0. Let's see cartoon for font and text I'm gonna say rocket 50 all right so we'll assume rocket launcher and then scale text scaled I'm gonna hit that button there all right so now I have my button I'm gonna control D with it selected I'm gonna that just duplicates it move this down here this is gonna be my buy button buy button and I'll change the text to buy with an exclamation point. I'm going to change the color. 
I'm going to change the color, the background color, three to green. All right, so we have one item and we can buy it. That's it. Let's add a script to our shop to open this. So we'll go to our shop, it's not shop frame, we'll go to our shop button, local script. Say open, open shop. So open shop script. All right, we need two components. We need our button in case we press it. And we also need the frame, the shop frame. So that's script parent parent shop frame. We'll get a function, we'll call that open close. And say frame visible will equal frame visible, but we want it to equal the opposite of of whatever it was. So if it's hidden, we're going to show it. If it's showing, we're going to hide it. And let's go ahead and start off with frame being frame visible being false. And let's see, we'll go and add our button activated. Connect that to open close. Get rid of those two extra parentheses. And now we should be able to open and close our shop. Go ahead and try it. And there it is. Opens and shuts. There. Cool. All right. Now let's make our shop effective. Let's sell stuff in it. So we have our shop. And I'm going to add a local script. I'll just call it a shop script. All right. So in my shop script, I want a reference to my buy button. Script dot parent buy button. And I want a reference to my rocket button. Script dot parent rocket button. I will need replicated storage because that's where our rocket launcher is and that's where we're going to put our remote event. So the remote event it allows the client to talk to the server. We have to equip our rocket launcher and subtract money on the client side. So how do I do that? Game, get service, replicated storage. That's what I want, replicated storage. And this is our remote event right here. So in replicated storage, wait for child. I'm going to call it equip re, just like in my last video for my shop. I go to replicated storage and I need to make a replicated event. And I'm going to call it equip re. So this name right here has to match this name right here. And what else do we need? So we need to store our item and I'm going to initialize that to rocket launcher. Right, so this name has to be spelt the same as that because that's what we're going to use to call it in replicated storage. And the price, 50. All righty. Oh, and now we need a player too. Right, we need to get our local player. So game, get service, players, local player. All right, let's make a function in case we select our rocket launcher button. Select rocket and we'll have rocket button we're going to color the background so it looks selected to color three new 0 0.5 0 0.5 and one that's going to make it kind of purple and then we're going to get our item here let's just do this item will be rocket launcher so essentially you have no choice but to buy this rocket launcher because we only have one item so you can either buy it or you can just hit the shop close button and not buy it. And we will add more items in next in the next coming videos. All right, and now we'll have our local function buy it. This is how we buy it. Uh, I'm not going to do any checks. I'm going to fire a server event with the item and the price. We will try and buy it on the server side. So price. Oh, wait, I already have that. We're good. We're good on that. Oh, let's close our frame. Visible equals false. And what we can do here, too, is when we buy it, we can we can make this white again. 
we should have like a clear selection button but that way it doesn't look selected if we buy it all right what else are we gonna do we got to get our um, we got to hook up these two events to our button presses so we'll have a buy it button or a buy button activated connect buy it and we also will have our rocket button activated connect and that's select rocket All right, so when we hit that rocket button we're going to fire this off essentially we're going to just set our price our item and our price we hit the buy it button we're going to fire this off to the server we're going to buy it on the server side all right so now we have to set up the server side so we can we can actually equip our character in order to do that let's copy these two lines because we need this remote event that's the gateway right so we have to be on the other side of the gateway let's go to server script service script and i'm going to call this equip it all right and now i'm going to just paste those two events right there that oh, those two variables one for replicated storage and one for the remote event Ooh, this is still kind of long even though i'm trying to keep it short uh let's see local function give tool we're going to get our player we're going to get an item and we're going to get our price all right now local tool is going to be replicated storage wait for child uh and it's the it's the what do we call it rocket launcher but we don't have to type rocket launcher we can type item that's why we passed it cool and then i'm just going to clone it i don't want to get the original i just want to clone all right so we got that now we have to subtract money from the leaderboard so we have our player leader stats and we got money so just make sure your leaderboard has a money metric on it mine does right here a money metric and it's going to grab the money then what i'm going to do is i'm going to say money dot value equals money dot value minus price so if we don't have enough money we're going to go in debt i, I didn't put any checks i'm trying to keep this ch uh, very short and it is not working but the store will work i'm sure of it so i'll say backpack so now don't forget to don't forget to give this to your player or he's going to rage so the tool parent is going to be the player backpack make sure you spell it right or it won't work we're going to catch our remote event so on server event we're going to connect it to the give oh tool i spelled that wrong there should be a l in tool give tool nice okay this should work we should be able to buy rocket launchers i'm going to try and buy it with no money to see what happens i should go negative 50. all right rocket launcher buy yep negative 50. so now i'm in debt let me get some money uh, there we go i feel good i'm gonna get my rocket launcher nice so we got a a very simple store in almost 14 minutes so i will see you in the next video if you want to add to the store